Okay, uh, Dave Young, uh, I think this weekend can only be described as a domination up at Somerset. Your 7.2 kilo bag was uh, nearly double the next uh, weight down. Um, tough weekend on the water. Just run us through the techniques of how you got there this weekend. Uh, yeah, basically fish fly all weekend, Steve. I made the decision uh, early Friday on the pre-fish. Um, once the, you know, the rain last week obviously affected the way the lake's been fishing, so I sort of thought that my best bet to, to catch six fish for the weekend was going to be commit to fly. Um, basically just slowed down, sat in sort of Pelican Point, 25, 30 foot of water, um, and then just sort of, you know, as those schools of fish moved through, I just sort of took my time, and um, once I had a concentration of fish on the sounder, I just sort of tried to stay on them as long as I could and, and just fish really slow. Um, it was a test of patience at times. It certainly wasn't, you know... Uh, electric fishing by any means I was really only sort of getting one or two bites a session and um, yeah fortunately for me those fish that I did get uh, to, to bite um, stayed connected and I was able to weigh them in. Um, in in the past, you know, 10 to 15 years ago, the, the ABT bass events were really dominated by fly. And you said today that uh, a lot of the guys that have done that fly fishing, the John Schofields, the Gavin Dunn's, those sort of guys have sort of gone out of it. So uh, this is sort of a way you've reinvigorated the arc. Can you just tell us through the, the technique, you know, the how long does it take the line to sink and what do you do with it? Yep. Um, well, basically, I've got a, a sinking scientific fly line, a uh, scientific angler rather. Um, it sinks at about four and a half inches a second. So, yeah, I'm basically, I'm roughly doubling the, um, the depth of water and then just counting with Mississippis, I mean that's just a, a quirky little thing. I suppose a lot of fly fishermen got different little uh, idiosyncrasies and things like that that they do. Um, so I just I basically, I mean, 30 foot of water, I'm counting 60 Mississippis. Um, once I feel that flies on the bottom, then I'm starting with a couple of really short, sharp strips just to get the fly up off the bottom, and then letting it sink back down. And a lot of the time, as that fly is sinking back down, that's when I'm getting the bite. So um, the, the biggest thing with it is being patient, really giving that fly enough time to get to the bottom because it does sink slow. So you've got to really have that um, the patience in the first instance to get the fly down there. Once it's down there, well, it's pretty easy to keep it there. Um, so yeah, I just sort of really tried to concentrate as, as hard as possible once I had those fish on the sounder. And, and you know, fly is one of those things, like you said, that um, years gone by, it's dominated. You know, it really did. And uh, as some of those guys have retired or, you know, um, you know, gone out of the sport, it's sort of probably fallen by the wayside a little bit. But um, fortunately for me, I've, I've fished with those guys and I've, I've seen it over the years firsthand just how effective it can be. So my instinctive uh, my instinctive uh, or reaction, I suppose, on the weekend was once I saw it was going to be tough that, hey, fly fishing's probably going to be my best chance of getting a lot of bites here. It's that you know, super subtle uh, presentation and, and yeah, fortunately for me, it sort of paid dividends. Um, what about the uh, the rod and reel you use? Tell, talk us through that. Yep, so the guys at Todd's look after us with the TFO fly rod. I used to be uh, TFO BVK 7 weight. Um, it's a four piece high modulus graphite. It's really nice and light, very comfortable to fish with and, and over two and a half days of sort of fly fishing, it can be a bit strenuous, but um, the rod is really responsive. It's super, um, super crisp, so you can really sort of feel those bites on the slack line with a lot of fly in the water, a lot of fly line in the water. Um, and I use a snow bee reel with a interchangeable cartridge on it, uh, scientific angler sinking line. So that's pretty much the nuts of it. And one of Gav Dunn's um, twisted leaders and Wolverine flies. So. What sort of uh, leader strength? I use 10 pound, uh, but it's twisted on itself, you know, three or four times. So it's basically it tapers down and that sort of aids with your uh, your sinking of the fly. So um, yeah, it worked really well. Mate, it was a great weekend. It looks like uh, we looked at the scoreboard on the web last night and it looked like you didn't have to get out of bed this morning to do it. And I think as it stood, I don't think you did have to get out of bed. I think you're all good, but uh, would it be nice to get that last fish in the last session to seal the win? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, unfortunately for myself, I've found myself in that situation a few times before and uh, and managed to somehow stuff it up. So um, yeah, I, I was going out there with this morning uh, with the intention of catching two fish. I, I luckily, luckily got one early and uh, I couldn't quite close it out for the full limit. But um, as I said, it was just stoked to get the win and, and come away with victory for sure. Uh, any last sponsors you'd like to thank? Just the guys at EJ Todd, Lawrence Electronics, um, you know, they've been long-time supporters of us and, um, yeah, as I said, the guys that we stay with, you know, great bunch of guys have really had a good weekend, so, and, uh, of course, you guys for running the comps.